During the Permian period, the mammal-like reptiles, the pelicus or synapsids of the Carboniferous, continued to become gradually more mammal-like. They evolved into therapsid reptiles, which included the dominant predators of the day, and by the end of the Permian period had even evolved into the cynodont reptiles, uh, which were the most mammal-like of the uh, groups of uh, synapsid reptiles. Their uh, limb girdles had become stronger and allowed more of an upright uh, posture. During this time, uh, they probably evolved the ability to be warm-blooded and to regulate their body uh, temperature. Uh, this is suggested by the number of blood vessels in the bone in these uh, therapsid uh, reptiles. The uh, cynodont reptiles by the very end of the Permian period had evolved a palate which separated the oral cavity from the nasal cavity, indicating that they were evolving the ability to um, increase the amount of oxygen uh, that they uh, required for their larger brains and their warm-blooded metabolism. And so a number of the changes which we associate with mammals had actually evolved in the Permian period in the mammal-like reptiles, the therapsid reptiles, and the early cynodonts.